we're waiting for that solution to warm up, I thought I would give you a little picture of what it looks like in the background here. I have currently set up a titration apparatus. So we have the burette there. Underneath the burette, you can see I have an auto stirrer. Um, if you haven't seen an auto stirrer before, what that guy is all about, I'll turn it on real quick for you to see. There's a little magnet at the top of that thing. And we're going to put that magnet into our oxalic acid solution in just a minute. And it will do the swirling and the stirring of our solution for us. Uh, just some reminders that you want when you're titrating, when you're pouring your solution in, you want the stopcock, the valve at the bottom, to be perpendicular to the burette itself. That's when it's closed, so that way the potassium permanganate solution won't drip out of the bottom until you're ready. And then keep in mind that the markings on the burette, um, the 50 is at the bottom, and the zero is all the way at the top, which is a little strange for most people, that uh, they wonder why, why is it zero at the bottom and 50 is at the top. The reason why that is, is because when this burette is completely full, zero milliliters of our potassium permanganate solution would have ended up in the flask that will eventually be down below. When we hit the 50 down here, that means that 50 milliliters has been added. So usually we pour things out of the top because the burette adds things from the bottom, the numbers, are turned upside down. So in just a second, we're going to put our oxalic acid solution, which is warming. It's at 60 degrees. We're trying to get it to about 85. We're going to put that guy underneath here with that auto stirrer is going to go in that oxalic acid. And we are going to titrate our oxalic acid with our potassium permanganate solution until we see a faint pink color. Our goal is to figure out the exact molarity of this potassium permanganate solution. We know that it is somewhere around 0.02, but we're going to figure out exactly what it is after our titration.